What up internet, TV Geek here with a recap of NTSF and their Christmas episode, which is awesome. Uh, Adam Scott was great. Like him bouncing around was hilarious. He's good. Girlfriend? I'm Van Dam good. I'm worried that the high school student thing may have been a reference to something that I don't get. A sophomore named Todd Wilson's fixing the JV basketball games. No! To me, it sounds like just a spoof on shows like uh, Veronica Mars, where that's the type of conflict they would have. But I don't know, maybe it's like a 21 Jump Street or something. Uh, but anyway, before that, the opening scene, I love when Trent delivers the very Horatio Kane-like line. Merry Christmas. And have a deadly new year. We expect him to go to the credits and hear the yeah. Yeah, yeah! But no, instead it's an immediate cut to later on Trent explain himself for his actions. Merry Christmas. And have a deadly new year. Mistakes were made. That was hilarious. We do finally get the cut to the opening sequence moment uh, after this long run of wordplay on Trent's part, which ends in a friend's reference. My fists are my friends, and you are no Chandler Bing. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so then Trent is sent home on leave. And for one, I know I know this sweater from something. I want to say it's from 24. I don't know if it's something that Jack wore or maybe Tony did. Yeah. It looks familiar. I know I've seen it somewhere. I don't know what the exact reference is, and it's been driving me nuts. Trent's list of stuff to do is great. <laughs> Uh, that was great when they come attack him at his house and Trent's awful at reading lips. I'm gonna torture his balls. Not if I portrait your bells first. And then when the guy is reaching his hand through the mail slot and he's like, and he's about to get caught or whatever. That was hysterical. Uh, so anyway, back with Adam Scott in the wheelchair and the LOLing. I love how the nameless thugs of the eye patch dude, they've got like these ninja-like gracefulness to them. It's like the, um, reminds me of the bad guys in Paul Blart. <laughs> Did like a choreographer team whenever they were flying around all over the place. It's not a movie I recommend. The only thing that didn't sit right with me was the John Deere joke with him going super slow and catching up on time. I don't know why, it just wasn't as funny as I wanted it to be. I don't think that's a played joke. I mean, it reminds me of the Austin Powers thing, with the guy dying because he won't get out of the way. I'm not sure what it was, it just didn't sit right. Oh, uh, and of course, what Christmas episode would be complete without the sing-along at the end? Silent. Silent. Oh, Saturday night. That was great. Uh, it was a great episode, 8.5 out of 10. I loved it though. I can't give it an 8.5. This thing has to at least have a 9 because it's a Christmas episode. Those are like my favorite things. Between this and the current season of Damages, I am damn near in the spirit. I know it's crazy early, but I don't know. I'm ready. Keep the balls in the pit, kids. Kids! Are you shot?